Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, last time we found Wulchif, yay! <laughs> He's running with us now and we have to go up here for his strange um, quest, finding the chill. I thought this would be in the vicinity of where we are, but we are not in the vicinity. We have to kill a lot of demon armies before we can get there. So yeah, that's that. Uh, but before we do this, we go to Green Gates and then probably to Molten Scar and to Winter Sun. I'm not sure what the quest for Explore the Molten Molten Scar is, but yeah, we'll do it anyway. Let's continue our journey. I really don't know which way we should go, left or right, probably. Well, probably left. When I say left, I mean right. Ah, okay. Yeah, enter it. Uh, my dear, um, Nenyo is exhausted already. She is so fast exhausted. Could do anything. We should do a bit about that. Like giving her some constitution or strength stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there some blood rain here? It looks like blood rain. Let's look at the map. Is it big? Yeah. I I don't know what we do at Green Gates. I, I really don't know what we have to do there. But let's move in. Then. Okay. Looks like a temple or something. Ooh. What's that? Ghouls? Arushala. I, I heard of her. I think one of my friends told, told something about her. You heard my call? Or did we hear about her? I'm, I'm not playing regularly enough. So I forget half of the things that we learned. The demoness looks down at you from atop the crumbling fortress wall. Same one who appeared in your dream. Okay. You are able to observe her properly for the first time. Noting her delicate features, the demoness is stunning. But her eerie and unnerving beauty bears only the slightest trace of humanity. Hmm. She seems nice, and she's got a she's got a picture, so she's probably important enough <laughs> that we don't kill her right now. <laughs> Thank you for heeding my call. I I did not think you would come. Uh, succeeded a perception check. In a flash of insight, you see that Arushale was partly hoping that you wouldn't respond to her summons. Okay. Why did you call me here? I want to help you. Okay. You want to know where the demons with unusual powers are coming from? There is a creature hiding in the fortress right now who is privy to the demon's schemes. Catch her and she will tell you what you want to know. 
inside the fortress, an enclosed space with an unknown number of enemies inside and an exit that can easily be blocked once we are in. Everything you need to set up a highly effective ambush if they are waiting for us in here, in there, I can guarantee that we'll make it out again. I can't guarantee that we'll make it out. No religion check passed. You wear a symbol of Desna around your neck. Swear on her name that you are telling the truth. Rushale presses the silver butterfly to her heart. I swear it. I'm on your side. If I'm planning something wicked, may Desna strike me down where I stand. How can this even be? I mean, tries this. does this game try to make demons be more like? First Minago who had some problems, and now she. Uh, it's always beautiful women. This is also also something I I um, I'm I'm really impressed about the um, the developers doing so much work in getting some romantic relationship inside the game. I know that you can have relate. Uh, um, romantic relationship with with a lot of the of the people around. Um, not only Darren, but I, I I heard that you can do it also with Camilla and with some others probably as well. I'm not sure why they put it inside. I mean, it's not really helpful for the for the story, and I I don't even think that it's a really interesting side side quest. Or it to do first of all it's it's written more like the romantic things between Anakin Skywalker and Prince Midala, which was really terrible, which was the most terrible thing about the uh episode two and episode two was the was the worst of all the of all the Star Wars movies. Probably everyone hates me now because I think it's worse, much worse than the three new um, movies like episode seven to nine. Uh, okay, yeah, but anyway, here it is: a demoness who is quite okay, I guess. Who are you? I am a demon, a succubus, who has killed many mortals, but beyond that I am also a heretic. I betrayed the demons, cursed their lords, forswore their beliefs and works, joined the side of the mortals. Okay, she's a succubus, um, working for Desna. <laughs> I still have not earned forgiveness for everything I've done. Not from Desna, not from the mortals, not even from myself. But I will earn it some day. When the Crusaders finally defeat the Abyss, I will know that I played my part in it. Okay. Can we can we get her into our into our um company? I mean this this is great. I really want the Sukubu to my company. Why are you helping me? I have been helping the Crusaders for the last few years. I spy on the demons, I kill them, I sabotage their weapons, I pass on information about their plans to the mortals via the priests of Desna in Canabras. I do all this because... Ah, she's the one who sends the information to the Desna priest. Who sent the information to the Desna priest. She drops her gaze and ends in, near, in a near whisper. I don't want to be one of them. I see the corrupt aura of your soul. Confess your sins, Sukubus. <laughs> Why should I trust you? I don't know. I'm a demon, and I know this looks an awful lot like a trap. Everything I'm telling you could be a well-crafted lie. I have done nothing to deserve your trust. Oh, she's so sweet. You're doing yourself no favors here, love. <laughs> you really need to work on your sales pattern. <laughs> I see the corrupt aura of your soul. There are so many. She says in a subdued voice. Let's say I believe you. What then? 
There is a hag by the name of Jarunika hiding in the fortress. She lived here before the fall of Sarkoris, but when the demons arrived, she was happy to throw in her lot with them. This senile old cannibal knows many secrets, including the one you seek. Okay. Beware, you are dealing with a creature that is very old, very devious and very dangerous. She may not be a demon, but she can move like one. If you hesitate, she will slip your, from your grasp before you even know it. I mean, she looks nice, so she must be nice. Fortunately, there is a relic of Desna in this very fortress, the Bell of Mercy. It will help you catch the hag, like a cat in a mousetrap. No, wait, you don't say that, do you? Like a mouse in a cat trap? Never mind. That what matters is that you must catch her. Hey, ah. Uh, doesn't this sound like we're getting mixed up in something that's really got nothing to do with us? There's some ruins and some bell and some hideous beast, maybe more than one, and we could die over this, over nothing. And then, what are people gonna say about me once I'm dead, eh? Wolchief the idiot who tried to swipe a rusty old bell? Now, that's painful. Why did I take you with me? Well, what if I were to tell you that I once read a dusty old tome that said there was treasure somewhere in these ruins? <laughs> that the army's coffers were left behind when the crusaders beat their retreat from here? Untold riches, half a year's salary for thousands of warriors. Let's say that I knew where to find this hoard. What do you think? Would it be worth your while venturing into these ruins for a cut of, say, 25% of the loot? What's that now? I think I heard 25, but I'm sure that you meant to say was 40. If that's the case, then I'm in. Wolchiff's eyes are gleaming greedily. So, how much gold do you reckon is in there, roughly? How should I know? I... It was a hypothetical question. Why on earth would an army abandon their coffers full of gold here? I'd wager they, that the most we, the daring treasure hunters, can expect in a, is a handful of coins from a soldier's hidden stash. 30% of those coins are yours. I'm a man of my word, after all. <laughs> what can you tell me about that? Did you know that there are Different kinds of hags. Jerunica. Ah, Amber would have been quite good here. Jerunica is one of the more terrifying types. Ennis hag. This flesh eater possesses frightening evil magic powers. She's not a demon, but she is far more cunning than many inhabitants of the Abyss. Don't listen to her rigmarole and don't believe her evasions. Just grab her. Put a knife to her throat and demand straight answers. And don't forget, like demons, she can travel huge distances using magic. But the sound of the bell will stop her from slipping away. How will this bell help us? It is an ancient relic of Desna. The crusader spirit brought it here when there was still hope that Sarkoris could be retaken easily. When the world wound expanded and the crusaders were forced to retreat, leaving the bell behind. The demons tried to corrupt it or destroy it, but they couldn't. The bell burned them when they touched it. They managed to rip the bell's cap from it, but they didn't take it far. Look for it. It should be around here somewhere. Esna imbued the bell with powerful protective magic. If you strike it, all demons and their ilk inside the fortress will be unable to move. If the hag cannot move, she will not be able to evade you. How did you know the hag would be here? We know each other of all. Actually, that's not quite true. We have never met in person, but I have been tracking her for quite some time. She shows up here and there. 
but every time I try to pin her down, she vanishes. I hope this time she won't slip away so easily. Succeeded at a perception check. Arushala seems agitated and you detect a tremor in her voice. Seems hunting this hag means an awful lot to her. But you have a sneaking suspicion that the succubus has not told you the full story. Can you help me fight the hag? With a smile, Arushale runs a finger along the string of her bow. Naturally. I understand. Let's do it. May Desna aid us. Okay. Seems interesting. Yeah. We'll chief. I've got some for you to do. Everyone, move further this direction. There was a trap, so it must be the right direction. How dare you come here? She's really fighting with us. That's nice. Yeah, that's not very far apart. Level 10, Kalavakus. Kalavakus. Terakni Devastate. This one seems the hardest to fight. Okay. Uh... Pig, how about doing a charge? Can you charge? Yes, you can. Ha! <laughs> Great. Oh, you are so... We can stagger. I mean... Oh. Can you shoot something? Like the frog? Sounds nice. Okay, how about the pit? No, we're not not near enough. We need to go there to the pit. Wait, what did he do to my to my poor pig in slave soul? Can resist this special attack with a eighteen wills staggered for one round even if the save You staggered my poor pig. Cover me, all right? 
Let's kill this guy first. Really? A one? You just needed a two? Oh, come on. Can you jog there? Wait, you could charge the, the pig? Okay. Let's do a target on the... Have a look and then... Can you just move more than... Why can't you move further? Mm -hmm. Let's move here. And let's do it less on all of us. Okay, um, let's give the pig the acid more. And then let's move like here. You kill the frog. The enslaved soul, and this time he got it. Okay, now let's try to create a bit like here between the two. Yeah, they succeeded in the saving throws. Wolchiff! That nice. Nice hit. Darren, um, how about you doing some prayer? So, okay, um, start it out fast. What is your problem? Safe soul, you take a minus six penalty on all attack rolls and saving throws against Kalavakus that enslaved your soul. If you would be slain by the Kalavakus, your soul will immediately infuse the demon's body, affecting it with a heal spell. Ooh, nice. Okay, just move back a bit. Okay, um, how about a uh, magic farm on the pig? Because our attacks will be dead anyway. Then let's move back a bit. Ah! Let's build a devastator. Really? Oh, 
Oh, critical hit, 44 points of damage. Nice. Okay, then you take a five foot step in this direction. And let's do some magic missiles on this guy and kill him if possible. Really? Only one got through? Oh, come on. <laughs> one hit point left. Would have been better to... Stig, what are your problems? Why do you look so destroyed? You're confused. Ah, that's not good. But you're not confused enough to not kill this thing. Really? Distract them for me. This was kind of over. Good. Let's just say we do a bone shaker on this guy. Really? We didn't overcome the uh, magic resistance, the spell resistance. Not good. Then kill. You won't survive me. Nearly. Ah, this time you did so, so much damage. Ah, and your death was good. Ah. <laughs> Interesting. Good. Oh no, there was a Dirachni poison. Okay, first of all, you. No, first of all, every one of you go here. Or here. Minus three constitution, really? Okay, we'll have to do something against the. No, it's there. No, it's there. Delay poison or resist acid, resist cold, resist electricity, mage armor. I mean, all of these stupid things do not nothing against poisons, do they? What's this? Stone fist. Huh? Oh, yes, what? 
let's do this on gray ball. No. Also, you. Let's just do this. Twenty four round seconds or so. Still some time. of heal does this heal uh heat up this to channel pop mm. info what does heal do You to channel the positive energy into the mixture to wipe in away injury and affiliate. It immediately ends any and all of the following adverse conditions affecting the target ability damage blinded. You stay startled, seized, exhausted, fatigued, nauseated, poisoned. Ah, yeah, should have done this with the wand of heal. Good. So, everyone, look around for loot. There is loot. <laughs> Hello? Collect. Everyone else doesn't have any loot? Well, one. You must be joking. Okay, at this point, my dear friends, I will stop for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.